Michael Masarakis is chief economist at Alpha Bank in Athens. In terms of what we're seeing, Michael, there's still so many questions to see whether Greece can avoid default. Would a default be actually so bad if your country still remains in the Eurozone? Well, default, it's uh, something that uh, nobody really understands uh, what implications may have uh, for the stability of the Greek economy and society, but moreover for the uh, uh, stability of the European financial system and the, the world economy. I think uh, by defaulting, uh, you know, you unleash forces that you cannot control. And I think uh, the Greek government and the European uh, partners of the Greek government are in agreement that this is something that has to be avoided. And instead, we should be implementing the uh, program of adjustment that has been agreed on the 21st of July. I think that the uh, government is taking currently measures which are, uh, I would say, qualitatively and quantitatively different than what we have seen so far, in the sense that they do not rely on uh, measures to uh, tackle tax evasion, mm -hmm. and at the same time, they rely increasingly on cutting the very core of public spending, which is employment in, the, in an over-bloated uh, public sector in Greece. But are so you not think, concerned? Uh, are you not concerned? You know, you talk about this July 21st package, and we just heard from Angela Merkel this morning saying she wants to have more news from the officials of the IMF, the EU, and the ECB in Greece to see whether more talks need to be done to, to, before they give the money out that was decided on July 22nd, 21st. Why do we not have a resolution yet? Uh, because things are taking time, but the Greek government has already announced uh, measures that uh, they are going to be implemented. The first one, which is a, a big uh, increase in property taxes, which is to be uh, collected through electricity bills in Greece. That is a very easy collection mechanism. It's already in the books. It passed uh, through uh, last night in the parliament. And uh, all the other measures, I think, uh, uh, they are being uh, prepared right, right now for eventual adoption by the Troika authorities when they come to Greece uh, towards the end of the week. I think uh, if, they, uh, if they come, if they get on the plane and they come to Greece by the end of this week, I think uh, uh, a foregone conclusion would be that uh, things have been agreed with yeah. the Greek authorities. Yeah. Michael, there's still a lot of uncertainty out there, and the uncertainty is based on the fact that we don't know exactly how much private sector involvement will be done in a Greek default. Do you not think that it's better to have Greek default in a coordinated manner, which can uh, avoid you know, the rest of peripheral Europe to be dragged down, so a default staying in the Eurozone, then have all this uncertainty continue for the next five, six months? Well, I don't think there is anything, uh, something like uh, controlled uh, default. I think this is, uh, this is uh, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a pipe dream that you can have a, a control type of default. I think that the private sector has contributed uh, uh, greatly to the uh, resolution of these uh, financing issues of the Greek government. I think any, any, uh, any effort uh, to uh, renegotiate any private sector uh, involvement agreement uh, will be detrimental to the whole process. Mm -hmm. And uh, if there is any uh, changes to be made, uh, these have to be uh, made simply because probably, you know, the prices of Greek bonds have fallen since July. So there may be a need to fine tune uh, the agreement a little. Mm -hmm. But I don't think we can go into uh, an overhaul of the agreement. All right. Thanks for joining us uh, so much. Michael Masurakis, their chief economist at Alpha Bank.